Ladies and gentlemen, today I am sitting in the front yard of April Morris in Boulder, Colorado. Gorgeous, gorgeous mountains surrounding us. We just had a delectable breakfast here in Boulder. And I'm super excited to talk to you about exactly what you're into, April. So first of all, welcome to the show. Thank you, I'm excited to be here. Thanks for having me. Can you tell everybody what your passion is? Because you are going to be much better at describing it than I am. Yeah, so I would say that my bottom, the bottom line, my passion is herbalist. I'm a um, studying herbalist. I've just really been into herbalism for a long time. And when I say that, I mean plant medicine, how plants heal, kind of a natural way of healing. Um, and under that is I'm really into CBD, which is derived from hemp. So I'm kind of combining um, modern herbal, Western herbalism with kind of the cannabis legal side and putting them together and fusing it. Okay, so first of all, when you talk about herbalism, can you mm -hmm. give me an example of how somebody might use herbs for healing? Yeah, I mean, in my products, um, let's say the topical products, I do a lot of herbs that um, instead of doing steroids or something like that, there's a lot of soothing herbs that are great for any type of like skin inflammation. So I would say your easiest one is like calendula flowers, which are like the marigold flowers you see in everyone's garden. Um, a little different, but in the same family and they're amazing for skin. If you burn, bruise, any type of thing like that, it's just so soothing and really healing and um, really low, like poor reactions compared to a lot of, I would say, harsh chemical um, salves that you can get in the store or lotions you can get in the store. So it's kind of a good way for people who are super sensitive and who kind of want to help nourish their bodies because um, you are what you eat and what you put on your body is absorbed into your skin. So it's kind of like what you're eating. So. So how did this all start for you? Because I feel like you have been into herbs and herbalism for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I'm from Colorado, so I've always been into the outdoors and um, going hiking with my mom and dad when I was really little. And then I moved to Oregon um, and worked on Herb Farm, which is a um, herb farm up in southern Oregon and they make a bunch of tinctures. I don't know if you've ever seen them, but they're in a lot of the natural stores and they're the tinctures with the yellow bottle. And they what do, is that? It's an alcoholic extract. So um, to get the medicinal qualities out of the herbs, they do a portion of alcohol and water and let it soak for at least a month, if not longer, and kind of extract all the medicinal qualities out of the herbs and then sell them. Um, and so that's kind of where I got started. They have like an internship program where you can go and you, um, it's all free, but you work on their herb farm in exchange for classes because they have some of the world's best herbalists because they are one of the best companies um, in that field of alcoholic extracts. So that's kind of where it all started and that's kind of where I decided that was the way I wanted to take my life. You know, it's really interesting because there's a lot of people who are into herbs and even, I mean, a lot of my friends who are who are into like essential oils mm -hmm. and things like that. Mm -hmm. And I think you're really just taking it to the next level. I mean, somebody is creating all of these things and, and there's a whole, you know, conglomerate, I'm sure, behind all of these different products that are out there. You know what I'm saying? Right, definitely. And we had this discussion before the interview that I am bad at knowing which essential oils to use when and, and all of those things. But I have friends who are hardcore into that and mm -hmm. they use it for on the bottoms of their feet and, the, and their palms, on their foreheads, in all different places. Now you work for a company during the day mm -hmm. that sells herbs, correct? Correct. And they do sell essential oils and um, capsules and tinctures and teas and everything like that. So yeah, I work for them full-time and that's right and that's not your company but you have two companies of your own correct and one is April showers which focuses on essential oils and what else yeah April showers is kind of my fun body care um, I was using a lot of nat I was trying to find natural um, body care about like I think I started it four years ago and it was just really hard to find at the price I wanted to find it and I really think that April showers is a great way for people who normally wouldn't even think about getting something natural like that, like a natural perfume 
or a natural um, lotion and kind of bringing it to the masses. Um, so it's a small company I just started and it's really fun. There's like bath bombs and um, different creams and essential oil roll-ons. So that's kind of a little less medicinal and more just like my fun um, after work projects and things like that. But. but what I love about it is that you're taking something you're passionate about and doing something you really truly enjoy and it's fun for you to do. And yeah. that's my hope for my audience to be listening to say, well, they, whether it's this interest for them or something else, that they can take what they love doing and add it to their life in a way that they enjoy doing it. Right. So your second company you're a partner in. Correct. Can you explain that to everybody? Yeah, um, so that company is called Hempco, CB Driven Nutraceuticals, and that is kind of a stem off of April Showers um, that my business partner um, found, or I've been, he's an acupuncturist, and I've been going to him for years since I was little um, for holistic healing, and he heard about April Showers and the topical applications I have, and he owns a hemp farm and really wanted the CBD extracted from that to be put into my topicals to add like a medicinal quality to all of my topical products. And so that's kind of how it got started. He found me and then we kind of became partners in the whole process. And as um, we know, Colorado, marijuana is legal. Right. Right. So <laughs> it's, it's like a different world when it comes to that. Well, while we've been here, we've seen that. Right. Even, even <laughs> just traveling around. Yeah. But you guys are using this and, and CBD doesn't make you high, right? but it's a healing property, correct? Right, so cannabis um, is, has a bunch of different can cannabinoids, sorry. <laughs> and um, THC is the one that everyone knows about and everyone loves or doesn't love. And that's kind of the one that gives you, that is the one that gives you the psychoactive effects. So CBD is another very high concentrated cannabinoid in cannabis that a lot of people don't really know about but it can also be extracted from hemp and with low 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 amounts of THC um, to the point that you will never you would have to probably smoke a whole hemp field to even feel anything at all if that so um, it's definitely giving those people who I believe is me too um, people who don't really want to get high but know there's benefits to cannabis um, it's a great way to introduce them to cannabis without the scary high feeling that a lot of people get overwhelmed with and don't really enjoy. Um, so it definitely brings those medicinal anti-inflammatory um, pain relieving effects without the high after feeling um, that a lot of people can't go to work when they're high or don't want to run their family when they're high or go to school, you know. So it's really a nice alternative to people who want those um, medicinal benefits from cannabis but don't really want to deal with the after effects of the marijuana. And it's topical? My products are topical. Um, we eventually will be doing internal um, but we haven't really got to that step yet. We're kind of starting with the topical application um, and kind of introducing it to our audience that way at first. Are you the first company that started doing this? Or are you familiar with other companies that are already doing this? Yeah, it's a pretty big thing in Colorado right now because hemp is legal to grow in Colorado. Um, and it's slowly becoming legal in more states, but I believe Colorado was the first. Um, and so there is a lot of Colorado companies right now extracting CBD from hemp because they've seen the marijuana industry booming and it's kind of a um, side project of the marijuana industry that's a little um, less intense to get into. You don't need as many licenses. You don't need, it's a little um, less scary to start, I think, because the, the high effect can be really scary to give that to people. Um, so there is a lot of companies in Colorado, but I would say I went to a hemp expo this year and between last year and this year, it, quadrupled in size. So it's definitely a very new thing, I, th I would say, within the last three years. Um, but in Colorado, it's definitely growing due to the recognition of hemp and people growing it locally. So I know you have di two different types of healing salves. Mm -hmm. You have one that's good for like eczema and your skin, rashes, mosquito bites, and you have one that's for inflammation and swelling, like for joints. And, right. and I know you said the one that's for, for pain and swelling, you've, you have a hard time keeping that in stock. Right. Yeah, those are the two main, we're definitely, I mean, I have a 
list of over 180 products I eventually want to make, but it's a little hard right now even to keep up with the demand that I um, have. And so we are starting with these two products and they've been super successful. I've helped a lot of customers with them. Um, and a lot of eczema customers and psoriasis all over their body have taken this and it's really, really given them some relief. Um, so the skin salve is a lot of healing, calming, soothing uh, herbs and essential oils along with CBD that you would just put anywhere that you have any type of irritation really. Um, and then the pain salve is more kind of like an all natural icy hot with CBD. It has essential oils and herbs in it that are definitely heating at first and then cooling. Um, and then a little after you get the heating and cooling effect, effect, the CBD kind of takes over. So that really helps with joint pain. My dad has super bad arthritis and this really helps with that. Um, so yeah, those are the two products. But the pain salve is, yeah, I'm, I don't even have any to show you because I don't have any right now because it's so hard to keep it in stock, um, which is great. <laughs> so what kind of challenges have you had to kind of overcome to start doing what you're doing with your products? I think time is the challenge. Um, I'm in school right now uh, at the School of Clinical Herbalism in Boulder. Just down the street, I do that at night, and then I have a full-time job, and then I have April showers, and I also have hemp co. So I would say time is my biggest challenge, and um, starting as, up a business is never a big money maker, and so I would say time and then getting paid for my time is a really, I don't need to get, be paid all the time, but to be working, so many hours in a day and really have nothing to show for it. Money-wise can be kind of rough, um, but that's with every business when they start and I just have to realize that. Um, but I would say time is the biggest challenge and to have a social life on top of that um, is pretty hard sometimes. What do you, right, I understand, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> what do yeah. you think you've learned about yourself? I think I've learned that, I think patience learn to be patient and I'm out of product and it's okay and I don't have time today I need a day to myself and it's okay so I think being patient with myself um, is one thing I've learned I've also think I've learned I definitely have learned that I really want to heal people I love April showers and I love doing the body care and taking baths and it's smelling good but I love it when someone calls me and they've been in pain for 10 years and they take my they put my salve on it and it's helping them it is amazing feeling and I really I think this whole going to school and Hemco has really made me realize that that's what I want to do is help relieve pain and eczema and itchy spots because those are frustrating and they don't need to be there and do it in a natural way that people are excited about. I've never had someone say, oh, this is natural. I don't, I don't want that. It's always so exciting and it's hard for people to find sometimes. We're here in Boulder where it's abundant, but that's not the case everywhere. And so I would really love to share that with other people outside of Boulder, outside of Colorado, anywhere really, and show that it is, it is at your fingertips. You just people just need help finding it. So I think that's the main thing. You know, I always tell people in order to get them to act, they need to envision something for themselves and then explore what it would take. And you just gave me a really great vision of how good people can feel yeah. if they take what they love and they put it in their lives, yeah. even though time is an issue and, mm -hmm. it, and it can be difficult to do. Is there anything else that you think they should be able to see for themselves if they kind of take that leap into something they love as much as you love what you're doing? I mean, I think everyone should do it. And I'm fortunate enough to have a full-time position that pays for me to do what I love. And I'm, I mean, I love my full-time position as well. It's working with herbs every day. Um, but I, w I would encourage anyone to go after their dream. It just takes time, patience, and a lot of money to, I would say little money to be living off. Um, but money's always going to come and go and that can't really be the scaring the thing that scares you away so I yeah I wouldn't encourage anyone to do it and what's the worst thing that's going to happen is it fails and you move on so um, but out of everyone that I know that's starting little things here and there it seems to be pretty motivating and inspiring and yeah it takes up a lot of your time and um, but at the end of the day it makes you happy so 
where can people look up your products? What, what are your website addresses? Yeah, so um, the CBD products, it's cbdriven.com, like CBD, but CB driven. And then um, we also have a Facebook and an Instagram. And then for April showers, it's aprilshowersco.com. Um, and yeah, and I'm, you can email me on both. And I would love to make you a part of our private group on Facebook too, so yeah. people can reach out and ask you questions there, get to know you a little bit, because I am super impressed with you, your knowledge, your professionalism, and the passion that you are coming at all of this with, with such true intentions to help people. I have so much respect for that, really. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and anyone can ask me any questions. CBD is really confusing, <laughs> and um, even I learn it something new about it every day. So if anyone ever has any questions about it, any things they need to clear up, I'm definitely always there to answer because it's confusing. And if I don't know the answer, I'll figure it out and find, ask someone who does. So, Thank you so much for yeah. having us here yeah. in your home in Boulder, <laughs> Colorado. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Straight. We try to relate, this is for Frank Blue.